listening uh, to your answers and what I always find difficult uh, these answers. We already for generations in the Netherlands busy trying to address, like you said, to, to address this to the Dutch government, to, in Geneva, in New York, every, uh, for decades already. Uh, so my question is, what I'm curious about is what, what, what has changed in the world politics that Dutch politicians and English politicians, Western politicians are now sitting here and listening and are trying to change it. And um, more of you guys said, uh, what can we do to help you? And my question is, what can you do to help us? Do you have ministries, you have money, you have resources, everything. We are working from our own uh, resources, our own things, the little things we have. While our generations are still coping to uh, adjust to living in the Western society, in the Western uh, perception. So what can you do for us? For example, um, education. Why does everybody here in the Netherlands know about Suriname and then Dutch Antilles, but not know about West Papua? Mm -hmm. What can we change about this? What can you guys do for us? And what has changed in the world politics that Dutch politicians now can talk about? Why are you talking about it now? <coughs> Maybe give us more specific, specific suggestions what we can do. Uh, no, no, no. No, I can help you, but this is your job. I'm, this is my what I'm. You, you guys tell me that you, all, all three of you know a lot of West Papua. So what is what is this? What you you guys are experts on world politics. What what can you do on world politics? What has changed that we are talking about it now? And what can you do with it? Mm -hmm. Time has changed a lot. Obviously, it was impossible in the Netherlands to discuss Dutch war crimes committed in the process of decolonizing uh, Indonesia. Only recently, uh, a judge in the Netherlands said that uh, the case of Ravagadeh, uh, shoot Ravagadeh, where Dutch soldiers killed 426 or 20 something um, people in the village, um, that uh, the, the widow should be compensated. Obviously, time is, an, is a crucial factor in this. So, with the Dutch government um, being in that position, I think there now is an opening for Parliament and maybe also for our government to uh, take a clear position on what happened in the years uh, after uh, decolonizing uh, Indonesia. And West Papua obviously is on the agenda of Parliament. Um, but it is coming through Parliament. It is not coming through our government. And it is Parliament and supported by you and suggested by many of you uh, to raise certain issues. And we do need, we do need information from your community. Because journalists don't go there. I mentioned Peace Brigade International. They can't go there anymore. So we do need information from your community and from your family so that we can, can ask our government to react on that. Because as, as Mr. Fordow had said, we weren't able to go there, and still, uh, I think that if we would apply to go there today, we wouldn't be allowed in. Because in the need, it doesn't really appear as in the eyes of the international community. And what you say about Dutch education, this is a general, general idea I fully support. I fully support it when it comes to, 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 to all our powers. Not just... It hurts, you know, you're like, you live here, you've been brought here by the Dutch people, generations, and then you don't even learn about... Uh, your own history, shared history. Mm -hmm. that, that is true. We, we have never had the full truth about Dutch history when it comes to slavery, when it comes to colonizing uh, Suriname, Antilles, Indonesia, etc. And the aftermath of it. Mm -hmm. we st we still, we're still not willing, in general, to talk in, in, in using words as, as war crimes. War crimes have been committed by the Netherlands. And responsibility for this has never been taken. And we can talk about this today openly, but bear in mind that those who committed these war crimes are still alive. Yeah. They are still alive in the Netherlands. And they got amnesty by the Dutch government. So, uh, in this respect, uh, time is a crucial factor. We are from another generation after the war, so for us it's, it's a bit easier. But the political responsibility is still there because it has never been taken by the Dutch government. And therefore it's good to have a conference like this. It's good to have a debate in Parliament. We will have a debate on human rights uh, April 16th, I believe. Uh, and Indonesia will be in that debate. And so will be the West Papua case. 
So, um, and, and we tried to get some of you uh, uh, at the hearing. Uh, that didn't work out, but the Indonesian case related to the Malaccas, related to West Papua, will be in um, the uh, committee meeting on human rights. You can, you can be sure of that. Right, we'll be in a, we'll be in a in addition, um, how can we make sure that in the past that uh, other colonies, Western world, uh, that developed itself, uh, got, got freedom, but they had to develop themselves in Western perception systems like capitalism and the Western perception of them, democracy. How are we going to make sure that when we get freedom, that uh, we will be a country that can uh, create a modern society from their own perception and add it by other perceptions, but not lead it by other perceptions. Maybe you're, you're uh, familiar with the shock and heal treatment. Yes. First traumatize the country and then bring in the heal, the healing. How can we change this? Um, let's let's not jump to uh, further conclusions. Let's. I just ask for opinion. Yes, yes, I fully agree. I fully agree. We should not um, um, lead these peoples to a future that is not chosen by themselves but chosen by us for reasons that are in our own benefit. Because that's what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. But let's do one step at a time, and I think that human rights should be on uh, the core of the debate right now, because that is an acute problem. Thank you for sharing this opinion.